What's up YouTube? Welcome back to this channel. My name is Dominic Barbado with VendingBusinessSolutions.com. In this video, I'm going to explain how much my vending machine business makes and give you guys some tips and tricks so that you can succeed quicker than I did. Does location matter? This is one of the most important questions and probably one of the biggest questions I've ever got on this channel and from many people. Where you put your vending machine business will make or break your profitability and if you're losing or making money at the end of every month. If a location gets no foot traffic, then you make no money. But if you put a vending machine where there is a lot of foot traffic, you will make a lot of money. It is that simple. Land a location with a lot of parked cars outside and you will see usually a return on your investment. Do not, I repeat, do not put a vending machine at the first place that tells you yes. Do your own due diligence and make sure you ask some of the questions that will follow in the rest of this video to qualify accounts before investing thousands of dollars per year in a business that will leave you net negative, meaning unprofitable and losing money for those not too business savvy or technical term wise. What to look for in a location is also very important. One of the things I look for in a location is a five point system. No system for vending accounts will ever be perfect, but a system that works for me is this. First, you need to check the hours of operation. Does the business stay open all day? 24 seven locations and accessibility to your machines are home run vending accounts. The accessibility to where your vending machines will be placed is basically saying, where is the vending machine? Is it in a basement in a corner where no one goes? Or is it in a location that's being passed by employees on a daily basis, countless times throughout a day? Those are the best accounts in my personal opinion. The type of workforce also in a building or the clients who will use your machines, blue collar versus white collar workers, they have different spending habits, different tastes in products, and they like different things. Make sure you understand your location specific needs in terms of snacks and drinks, as well, captivity. And no, I do not mean taking people captive. I mean it in the sense of what's around your location. Is it right next to a convenience store or is it not? If the location's 10 miles away from the nearest food place, then those locations are gonna use your machine a lot more. Some of the best accounts can have the lowest amount of employees, but if it's stocked properly with the right products, it all goes into your demographic research, polls of the customer's wants and needs, and testing. You have to test different product pricing, different products, and such. What kind of products you should put in your machines? This really depends on your demographic yet again, but something that's worked well for me are things like Doritos, salted potato chips, Hal's chips, something I've been getting a huge turnover on. And Doritos are basic, but at $1.25, your profit margin is very high and the sell-through rate is high. In vending, I like to look at the APV, which is your av average product velocity. And this kind of just goes over how fast is a product selling. In the vending business, there's a common term called stack it high and let it fly. And I'll let you think about that example over the rest of this video. Some other products include Frito-Lays, different types of candies that are out there are always a good seller. And the best drinks are energy drinks in terms of profit margin and soda cans in terms of velocity. You will have to tailor each location specific to their wants and needs. Otherwise you may not see the sales you are looking for. So that really depends on your location and what those people exactly want in terms of the things inside the machine that will make the most happy. The cost associated with a vending machine, honestly, the biggest thing is the vending machine. The vending machines can run you anywhere between $2,000 and $10,000, upwards of $100,000 now with the pizza vending machines, burger vending machines that are out there. But let's talk a little bit more in the rest of this video about going out there and getting vending accounts. If you land, let's say, a high school faculty lounge, they want a snack machine. You could go out there and buy a used vending machine that'll cost you around $2,000 or a brand new vending machine that'll cost you between $4,500 and $6,500. You additionally will need to add a credit card reader on this machine, which will cost you $350 plus $120 a year for the cellular connection to process the credit card transactions, as well as $600 or so for the product you put in the machines. So you're looking at a cost between $2,900 or upwards of $7,000 if you plan on putting a brand new machine in there. But as with all the vending machines, make sure you can get a return on your investment within two years or less. Otherwise that count is probably not the best account for you. So how I calculate profit is by taking my average product sales every single month, subtracting my cost of goods sold, subtracting my gas and maintenance costs, as well as my insurance costs, and then I get a number. And that profit basically tells you on a monthly basis, if I'm making $20,000 a month 
and I subtract $8,000 of my cost of goods sold, another 200 for my insurance and gas at 500, the net profit of the vending business doing a gross $240,000 per year is just about $10,000 a month. A high profit margin compared to many other business models out there. So just be aware that you are not making all of these cash and all the dollar bills you pull out of a vending machine. This is not profit. This is your gross profit before any costs. So selling your products, you want to do a markup a minimum of 50%. If you're not making 50%, it's not even worth your time. I think most people who get into this business think 50% is too high and they want to do lower. But realistically, you're stocking, maintaining, and taking all expenditures of the vending expenditures of the vending machine business in your pocket. So you need to make sure you're being adequately compensated for what you're doing for businesses. We are offering a convenience, a service, something to help employees and clients make them happy while they wait or while they're working all day, they want a refreshment. This is what we're offering. We're offering those solutions. We're satisfying cravings for our customers. And I think that's the most important part about understanding when you're getting into the vending machine business, if you're not doing it to satisfy other people's needs and their cravings and their product, and you just want a cash pull, then you're probably gonna be in and out of this business within the first year, because you're gonna see it as a little bit more hands-on than most people on the internet will say, even myself. But for those interested still, these are what we call honor boxes. And essentially, essentially what an honor box is, is a cardboard vending machine. You stock it with 80 lollipops, which costs about $8 nowadays, and they're 50 cents each. And essentially someone will take a lollipop, put in 50 cents or a dollar, and that's how you make your money. When this is completely sold out with a 10% theft rate, you still end up with $32 off of an $8 investment. The boxes run you about 15 to $20 and they last multiple times. So if you're interested in getting the vending business and you enjoyed this video, then I highly recommend heading over to Vending Business Solutions, purchasing yourself some honor boxes. We have four different variations. We have our pink boxes, we have our blue boxes, white boxes and military patterns, as well as snack boxes. If that interests you at all, I'll see you on vendingbusinesssolutions.com. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe, hit that like button. More content like this coming soon. I'm working on different ways and different scripts to kind of make these videos great. Also, if you want to follow my personal Instagram page, it's at Dominic Barbado. Our business page is at Vending Business Solutions. And I hope to see you guys back on this channel here soon. Wrap the video up here.